The Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Anna Tete, says citizens of ECOWAS countries are not required to apply for travel visas to any member country. According to her decision by ECOWAS heads of state to introduce ECOWAS card will begin in 2017 to fast track the regional integration program. One of the frameworks of the integration within the ECOWAS region is the protocol of free movement of people. However, inability of the member countries to move away from the colonial concept that imaginary divided them remained a barrier. After 40 years of the ECOWAS agenda, citizens of member states have to endure long, complex and cumbersome procedures to arrive in another country. Member citizens have to seek visa on arrival in another country, casting doubts about the future of the regional integration goals. But the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Hannah Tete, says that is to end by July this year. All with a view to making trade and movement between citizens of our member states much easier and much faster than has been the case before because we all benefit from the fact that we have visa-free travel to other ECOWAS member states. She also responded to the issue regarding Nigerians dashing back home after 90 days in Ghana only to return the next day to renew their stay. If you are coming to do trade or, or a business activity in another member state, Three months was a reasonable time in which you should have conducted whatever you wanted to do and to go back. If you wanted to stay beyond the three months, you needed to get a residence permit and a work permit because you are no longer a visitor. But now that we are going to the next level of adopting the ECOWAS biometric identification card, that card will actually act as a travel document, as a residence permit, and as a work permit. So it will enhance the concept of free movement. Once we begin to issue the ECOWAS biometric ID, Nigerians, Sierra Leoneans, Togolese, Burkinabes will not need residence permits and work permits to continue to stay in Ghana in the same way as Ghanaians who live in these countries will not need them either. These policy initiatives, the ministry says, aimed at opening up Ghana to the rest of the continent and to stimulate increased air travel, trade, investment and tourism among the countries.